Today I'd like to show you how to make the perfect breakfast sandwich. I've been using this breakfast sandwich maker for over a year and I feel like I've really got a handle on it. So I thought I'd take a few moments to uh, share my tips and tricks with you uh, so you can also make the perfect breakfast sandwich. Uh, the ingredients you'll need is an English muffin. Uh, the key for the muffin is that you want to make sure it's not too puffy. If you get some of those really big ones, it doesn't fit well in the machine. So uh, you just want to get your nice typical English muffin. Uh, of course, an egg. You want uh, some cheddar cheese. I definitely recommend cheddar instead of American cheese slices. The American cheese melts at a very, well, no uh, better way to say other than sort of a slimy consistency, which doesn't make for a good sandwich. So go for the cheddar. And then I like these sausages. Uh, these are the chicken and maple breakfast sausage patties. Um, the sweetness from the maple um, really gives it uh, sort of a breakfasty feel, along with the egg, of course. So, and then hot sauce. This is the key ingredient that really elevates this to the perfect breakfast sandwich. Okay, so let's get started. Of course, we have our breakfast sandwich maker warmed up. <clears throat> I'm going to open the lid here. The top of the muffin goes in the bottom. And then on top of that, we put our patty. Now you'll notice the patty is, whoop, it's hot. <laughs> the patty is a little bit smaller than the English muffin. So sometimes if I'm feeling particularly hungry, I will cut a second patty in half and kind of squeeze it in there. But usually one is enough, even though it's a little bit smaller than the muffin. Uh, then our cheese goes on top. Uh, one cheese slice is usually a little bit too large, so you can either um, you know, pull off pieces to cut it down, or if you still want all the cheese, uh, but want to make sure it fits, you can just fold in the corners like so. Put that on top, and then I give it a little squeeze, just to make sure uh, we don't have too much touching the top there that will burn. Alright, that goes down, now we got our egg. I usually just break it right on here, crack it rather. And then I just use the egg to kind of uh, open up the yolk there to spread it around. There's obviously slightly less messy ways to do that, but I find that to be the easiest. And then, the key to it all, hot sauce. Put a little bit just like that. There you go. Alright, finally, get some crumbs up there. Set that right on top. Close the lid. And I found the perfect cooking time to be 4 minutes and 30 seconds. So we will go ahead and let that cook. Okay, our timer is almost up. So um, one quick note before we get the sandwich out. A lot of people ask me about using a cooking spray. I use a cooking spray inside the maker probably about every 7 or 8 sandwiches I make. If you use it every time, um, when you take out the sandwich, it's very slippery. And it just doesn't stay together well. Um, so what you do is just use it once and then, you know, make your sandwiches keep going and then eventually the uh, egg will start to stick a little bit um, and that's kind of your cue that it's time to um, give the maker another, another good spray. So, alright, uh, now the trick to taking the sandwich out is uh, get a knife, we open the top, of course you slide this over, you probably already know that. Now see how it's sticking here? That's telling me I need to use spray next time. We'll leave it there. Now, uh, when you lift this up, just use that knife there to slide that over because that's still kind of hot. And then uh, here, at this point, you want to use the knife to hold down the muffin top so that it doesn't move too much when you take that bottom rim off. And then you slide it under there. And uh, the last trick to this is you want to give it a quick flip over. And there you go. Now as the cheese cools down, it'll just kind of bring everything together. And there you have the perfect breakfast sandwich. A little bit of heat from the hot sauce, a little bit of sweetness from the uh, chicken and maple sausages. And um, usually I tell people give it about two or three minutes to cool down. And you should be set. I'll uh, let this cool down and cut back and show you what it looks like inside. Alright, I'm just finishing cutting it here. And 
and uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Wow, perfect. Let the focus in, yummy. So there you go, the perfect breakfast sandwich.